Ayo, uh, Shalom. I will praise the Yahweh, Hashem, Yahshua, Hashem, Rakakadash, and a uh, double honesty of apostles. I know there's a great millstone, man. Uh, and Shalom to all the brothers out there, you know, who rule well. What what you're witnessing is, um, you know, these are some working class white boys from up north, you know, getting the fuck down in the seventies, man. To um, to like Jake Soul music, man. Jake Soul music that was blowing up. During the um, during the sixties, so I watched a documentary on it. It's like it's called Northern Soul, and it's like basically a bunch of like working class, uh, like Northerners, like white boys and girls and that, were getting the fuck down like, in like the sixties and seventies. Like in clubs and that, men used to go to the clubs, and then they'll be out there for like till the till the morning, man. Like from the night till morning, getting it in like this, man. <laughs> and you know, you can tell just from how the fuck these guys are going in. Hella of them had to be Jakes, man. Hella of Jakes had to be up and up and down in there, man. Man, I got the the big flares on, the platforms. You know, you got an odd Jake in there. The guy looks fucking wedge. But it's but these were it's it's you know I wish it, it's it's just funny. It's funny because you know. You talk to some of these these uh, so-called Israelite groups. These guys all try and front like, you know, they ain't never seen a white boy that 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 can that can bust the groove, man. And it's like, um, you know, it's 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 uh, it's evidence, man. It's evidence, basically, of that that you do have Israelite foreigners out there, man. Even in England, you know, one of one of the biggest uh, white boy ends. In um in 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 Esau's rulership, but even even amongst them, you know, you got Jakes, and it's like Northern England, that's a bit more poor than uh, it's like the Midlands and that ain't got as much money as um as as uh, as London, man. And like these times was when everyone was having to work in the mines, man. Mum working in the coal mines, like gritting it out for like five days a week. So then like Saturday, they'll they'll just be looking to go and rave it up. For good, a good like uh, a good six, sixty um, like for a good sixty minutes or some shit like that, man. But hey, that's that's you know, it's I just, I just wanted to break it down about you know a little bit about Northern Soul, because you know it's 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 evidence of Jake, man. You know the Jake's out there that you're gonna find them in all the corners of the earth, even like a white boy country like this. That's why you got. These these guys are st a lot of these guys are still around, man. Like strolling around, and they're breaking down, doing all kinds of backflips, karate kicks and shit. But let me okay, let me get this on Wikipedia. It's Northern Soul. It says Northern Soul is a music and dance movement that emerged in Northern England in the late nineteen sixties from the British mod scene, based on a particular style of Black American soul music, especially in the mid nineteen sixties, with a heavy beat and fast tempo. So men are looking <laughs> for that fucking that hype. There was, there was music behind that, but it's like I, I didn't want to play it because um, I know YouTube's been a fucking bitch like with music. Even if you sometimes even if you don't play it, it don't um it will, it will still give you problems. But I think the video, the footage they use is just footage anyway. I don't think it's um it's it's like the music video or anything. It says um Northern Soul the Northern Soul movement generally eschews Motown. On Motown influenced music that has had ma significant mainstream commercial success. The um, the recordings most prized by enthusiasts of the genre are usually by lesser known artists, released only in limited numbers, often by small regional American labels such as Rictic, AMG Records. Uh, Northern Soul is associated with particular dance styles and fashions that grew out of the underground rhythm and soul scene of the late 1960s at venues such as the Twisted Wheel in Manchester. This scene and associated dances and fashions quickly spread to other UK dance halls and nightclubs like the Chateau Imp Impney in Droy and Droywich? Droywich? However the fuck you say it. Catacombs in Wolverhampton, the, high the Highland Rooms at Blackpool Mecca. Golden Torch and Wigan Casino, so it's like it was basically spread, cause it was um pretty much, these men were just getting the fuck down, man. It says, and, and whoa, you know you've seen the footage, 
Like these guys, well, it says, as the favoured beat became more untempo and frantic in the early 1970s, northern soul dancing became more athletic, somewhat resembling the later dance styles of disco and breaking, featuring spins, flips, karate kicks and backdrops. Club dancing styles were often inspired by the stage performances of touring American soul acts such as Lil Anthony and the Imperials and Jackie Wilson. So people were getting the fuck down, man. And that's that's how you know it's Drake, man. Because Esau, when it you know, in his spirit, he he don't get you don't he don't he don't even like to shake a leg like that, man. He don't even like to get in. He's basically just, he's 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 got he's stale, man. He's stale. But it's, hey, that's how you know these these guys are some Jakes, man, getting it the fuck in, man. Um, where did I want to go? Because there's a lot of this fucking history, man. Shit. Mm mm mm. Let me see. Let me do the twist and go. Okay. So starting in September 1963, the Abadi brothers promoted all night parties at the venue on Saturday nights with a mixture of live and recorded music. DJ Roger, Roger Eagle, a collective imported American soul, jazz, and rhythm and blues, was booked around this time and the club's reputation as a place to hear and dance to the latest American R&B music began to grow. However, other towns and cities across Britain had similar enthusiasts around this time who would tune into private radio broadcasts and record shops would help bring the US soul sound into Britain. Pubs such as the Eagle in Birmingham were frequented by young British soul singers such as Steve Winwood and Robert Plant who both released songs of a similar style in early US soul sounds and the emphasis in the Midlands was more on live soul bands than uh, than discos. So imagine Jake's Jake shit was popping off in America at this time. These men in 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 fucking Birmingham's in 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 um Manchester over in England were getting down to it just as hard. And they were like they were going in. Man are doing all night parties. Man said he's doing all night parties with these guys. That's how you, that's 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 some Jake shit, man. These men were going in. So, that's, you know, that's, that lets you know. That's why you, a lot of these towns, you go up there, a lot of these poor English, pe English people, they, 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 a lot of their lines go back to Jake's, man. Because this is, is, I'm looking for where it says, but it was more working class that were basically getting into it, man. It was a working class. The guy is working in the mines, man. Let me see if it's got a... Uh, fashion and imagery... Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> well, as I said, the clenched raised fist symbol that has become associated with Northern Soul movement emanates from the 1960s Black Power movement of the United States. On his visit to the Twisted Wheel in 1971, Dave Godlin recalled that very many fellow young fellows wore black right on now. Um, Racing gloves between records, one would hear the occasional cry of right on now or see a clenched gloved fist rise above the tops of the heads of the dancers. So basically, you know, it's it's basically um, thingy Judas Spirit, man. Judas Spirit was on these guys, man. Because it's it pretty much... these. Hey, man, these men, obviously, obviously they're Jakes and the, the, the spirit of the music emanated with them, man. Let me... Um, <laughs> Cause, hey, that's you know, J Judah's the head man. So it's like that's the spirit of Judah. So a lot of things that Judah does, it will impact overseas, man. Cause that's why it's like, yo, they're blowing up in the music over there, and that's like even in England, and then even like, I found another article. I ain't, I ain't gonna get up in this one. I'll probably do another vid on that. But it's basically Northern Soul is blowing up like. The same movement that happened in England is now happening in Japan as well. Like, you got people in Japan breaking down to the same tunes that man were breaking down to over here. So that's, you know, hey, that just shows... That's how you know Judas... The, the, how, how, can you, how can you say the so-called Negroes is not Israelites, man? These guys are basically... made me, the, the tunes done been made, so they killed the game back then. And guys are still losing their minds to it today, man. Still a, a, a phenomenon. 
me this, Ezekiel 11 and 16. Therefore, thus saith the Most High Power, although I have cast them far off among the heathen, and although I have scattered them among the countries, yet will I be to them as a little sanctuary in the countries where they shall come. So it's, it's recorded many times that Israel's going to be scattered, man. And it's, it's happened many times. I mean, many captivities. Israel's been put in all the different corners of the earth. And England's, England's another place. Japan's another place. You know the West Coast, the 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 Americans, uh, um, uh, the uh, Americas, Northern, Southern, and and even the islands, man, as well. Jake's all over the show, man. So you you are gonna find Jake just like you're gonna find Jake's in so-called Israel amongst them so-called Jews. You're gonna find them in um in what you call it in the north of England as well, man. Looking like white boys. Says um. Where was I? Oh, 17. Uh, oh, okay, yet will I be to them as a little sanctuary in the countries where they shall come. And that's, you know, that's 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 the men that have this truth, man. The men, you know, the men of GMS teaching this word and sincerity and truth with basically the little sanctuary is not, hey man, knowing that, knowing who you are, knowing what you're about, knowing what we've got waiting for us in the kingdom, man, basically. Hey man, that's, that's, that's uh, the, the sanctuary we have and, and knowing that, Hey man, we, we all we gotta do is just keep pushing out this word, keep doing this work, man. It says, um, therefore say, um, therefore say, if I say of the Most High Power, I will even gather you from the people and assemble you out of the countries where you've been scattered. So he said he will assemble us out of the countries where we've been scattered. So that means that, that obviously Jake's must be scattered amongst the countries. And what's what's England's a country, so you know you're gonna have you you must must need to have Jake's out here. And the thing is, if they're bit bruv. Jake, Jake um, that came over um, on a wind rush over here in the 60s, they're like grandchildren, which is around now. A lot of them will look like straight up white boys, man. What's that bitch's name, man? That singer, Horsley. Let me get her, man, because she's a good example. Even though that, sh that shit was... What she was doing was ridiculous. But basically, uh, she's she looks like a straight up white girl, but then you see her dad... I mean, she ain't wear no goddamn clothes. But look, like he's, you can tell he's a straight up Jake, but that's his daughter. And then you can't even, she just looks like a straight white girl, man. You get the picture of when, though younger, you can tell she looks more like a Jake there. You know? So Jake, bruv, you can get Jake looking like all sorts, man. All sorts out here, son. You know, if you're going to try and say that, that, that you ain't going to get Jake to look like white boys, you're out of your mind. And it says, um, Therefore, thus I have the most high power, I will even scatter you from, um, um, gather you from the people and assemble you out of the countries where you've been scattered. And I will give you the land of Israel and they shall come thither and they shall take away all the detestable things thereof and all the abominations thereof from thence. So, you know, Jake, basically, these guys, um, Jake is, uh, <laughs> is, all over the place, man. Getting into all kinds of things. That's why you got Jakes. You got uh, you got Jakes in China, bowing down to Buddhas. Jakes in India, you know, bowing down to to to, to Vishnu's and uh and and and, and them elephant face gods and all them things there. So you know that's that's Jake must needs be scattered everywhere, man. But you know that's but hey, that's that's how you know it's like because you know I will put on again. These guys were getting it the fuck in, man. Evidently, Jakes. Evidently, Jakes. He's going to be doing the kicks. Bouncing all around the floor. Spinning. These men are getting it in, man. All night long. You know. But, um... Yeah. So, uh, you know. I'll leave it there. I'll leave it there. So, yeah, all praise to you. I'll show you. I'll show you. Double honesty, apostles and elders are great. Most of them, man. Shalom. Shalom.